Welcome back. In this week's episode, we tick off a few things from our Norwegian bucket list. Oh my god, our first move! Yes! The vibe over here finally starts to lift. This drive is insane. It was about time as well, because even Onyx was starting to struggle. To the point Onyx hasn't even gone to the toilet for 24 hours. Now, come on Norway, hit us with your best bits. If you missed last week's episode, click the card above to catch up where we do as the locals do and hit a sauna. <laughs> I really don't like the deep end. Things aren't easy with the amount of rain we are experiencing. <sighs> Being such a Debbie Downer, and I'm not even sorry. But we do get to experience the longest driving tunnel in the world. Is it worth the visit? Hi guys, we are Nick, Sam and Lord Onyx and this van right here is our home. We've been living and travelling on the open road since 2018 and what a journey it has been. Subscribe and turn on those notifications for van life adventures every week. I want to be really excited because we've just pulled into the most incredible park up with incredible views. But Onyx, we literally left him for one minute. One minute. And he climbs into the cinnamon swirl bag and he has eaten them all. All gone. I don't know if I'm actually sad that they're all gone or whether he's just been really naughty, but he's now currently on the naughty step which basically means he stays in the cab whilst we carry on and ignore him. Anyway, back to the views. <gasps> wow! Sam, what are you thinking? The weather has been truly miserable to the point Onyx hasn't even gone to the toilet for 24 hours and he ate over 10 cinnamon swirls yesterday. They're about that big but he ain't letting them out. Maybe they just tasted so good. Do they taste good? <laughs> Anyway, so we're going to try and pick ourselves up a little bit today. We're now going to head out on a hike, regardless of the weather. We may have a change in our plans. Not certain yet, so we'll go over that when we know. Honestly, we're a bit lost with the place. It's like Marmite, Norway is. Love it when it's good weather. Hate it when it's raining. But I guess we'd feel that way with any country. We are now actually at the base camp where you pay for the parking to head up on the hike to see the glacier. The rain has got somehow even worse so we're a little bit torn on whether we should actually go out because it's just going to be a miserable hike, we're going to come back super wet, we're going to get the van wet and I'm looking at some of the Google reviews at some of the photos that people have put online and it kind of just looks like what will be kind of what we yeah. can see from here already anyway so I don't know whether we're just trying to find an excuse to, to do it really. <laughs> we're basically being Les Miserables um, and it's hard to feel positive when in such a small space with so much rain, Two being weeks. cooped up, stuck with each other. Mm. I thought you were going <laughs> to laugh no, out at me then. Yeah, so it's not, <clears throat> we're, yeah, we're, we don't know what to do really. Um, you know, you don't leave the UK to go to worse weather basically, that's what I think. And well, Onyx, yeah, no, also, you don't, but oh, then... the rain is just the worst thing in a van. If it's cold, I don't mind that. As so long as it's dry and we can go out and do things, but when it's wet, it makes everything impossible yeah. in a van. Our bed was soaking last night, the pillow was soaking, we think maybe it was because the corner of the pillow was stuck outside and it kind of absorbed it all in. We don't actually know. It's, it's just miserable and we're trying to stay positive um, but we just feel like everything's kind of been against us recently with Norway so maybe it's our sign to just turn the trip around and head more like Central Europe, Germany or something. I don't know. We want to go see a glacier though and see a moose before we go. <laughs> I'm not sure if he even looks any happier than us. And I know we're chitty chatting away, um, but we have spoke to quite a few locals actually about the weather here and they have actually said that it's not normally like this now. We are getting a heavy amount of rain, which isn't usual for this time of year. It feels like we've had rain all year. Yeah, 
And I know obviously in the vlogs it looks quite dry, but that's because we, we literally nip out for like the hour to film and then have to come back to the van. Um, so maybe we're not showing like the complete realistic side of <laughs> travelling in Norway. <laughs> my legs have actually forgotten how to walk. <laughs> I had it's to move wild. my legs and squeeze my legs into spasming so they yeah. actually walk. Like our last walk out was at the previous park up where we went to that viewpoint I showed you where it was less busy than the other viewpoint and that was a, literally a 10 minute walk yeah, and then that. it started raining when we got back so. Mm -hmm. And before that it was Prekestol and then I can't even remember ages. where I've been other than that. We're trapped! Get us out of here! It has actually stopped raining for a slight moment yeah. so we're going to make the most of it and sprint hopefully up. sprint <laughs> up as fast as we can. We're here now. This is our opportunity. Let's make the most of it. Let's go! This is where we parked the van and these are the incredible views. It is dry like Sam just said, so we're going to quickly pay for the park up. Which is 75 krones, so a little bit cheaper than the um, Plikestolen one. Plikestolen. So um, about six quid, I think. So we just got speaking to someone else who's parked up where we are and they said you don't actually yeah. need to pay. Yeah. So we're just cracking on, aren't we? You know, on it. Here. Saving our pennies. Can you believe it? It's actually stopped raining. The sun is out. It's our destination as well, so it's not too far. You can get a buggy and pay for it, which is a separate track up for the Royals. This is the peasant track. Oh my god, I am so glad that it dried up today. But also, I guess we're glad that it has been raining a lot because without the rain, these incredible waterfalls would not exist. And honestly, they are so powerful. So funny how. I guess your mood can change so easily with the weather but it's just not fun living in a van when it's just constant rain. This is exactly what we needed, a little bit of a pick me up once again. high up now which means we're getting closer to the glacier. Honestly, we go from smiling one second to the most miserable pieces of the next. Sometimes I think we react like the rain is lava or something don't we? It is, nobody likes the rain. Nobody likes the rain. Thank you for following us on our journey and our mood swings. Oh my god! Yeah. It's definitely worth it. Oh. So glad it only started raining once we're mostly yeah. at the top, but the water here is so, so blue. Clear. It is beautiful here. What do you think, Mucky? Oh, it is beautiful. Do you feel like you've had a sufficient nature fix <laughs> now? For the amount of time that we've been cooped up, yeah. I think this has actually been quite complimentary for yeah all of it because it is incredible and this particular glacier is the biggest one in europe and it was created oh. <laughs> in the mini ice age in 1800. i didn't know any of that <laughs> there is actually quite a few areas that you can see the glaciers in this yeah. national park from um, but we've come to this particular spot based on the van and where our next travel destinations are yeah. um but i think we also saw some sightseeing buses and things so you can just hop on that and i believe do them all um so yeah anyway Time to go back to the back van. Down, the hands are getting cold. Just as we got back, it started raining. It's as if the gods have been a little bit on our side today, taking a little bit of sympathy on our moods. So on that note, I think it's time we go find a park up. So yesterday's fuel, let's talk about that. Um, we drove about 3 hours 20 minutes, which was about 194 kilometres, and the £50 we filled up 
is, is nearly gone really so we've now come back into the town as we're heading to our next destination um, there's a cluster of things we want to see in one area so we have filled up again and it here it's 27 knock instead of the 23 point whatever knock we got um, prices yesterday and I believe the further and further north we go it's going to cost more and more money um, and we've just filled up I don't even know about 500 knock was it Five, eight. Five eight something I don't know but basically you don't get a lot of miles out of it I think someone on TikTok because I said it on TikTok and um, said it was about 22 miles per gallon although they did it from 50 pound to full empty so it's not 22 but I don't think we're getting the typical 30 miles per gallon that we usually get out of the van um, and it's probably because Norway is a very hilly place as well um, so yeah Fuel is adding up a lot. With the dry spell, it was time to send the drone up and see Norway from the sky. And if you think these views are incredible, wait until the next road we reach. It's nuts. really bad for your eyes so so bright <laughs> what this filming no, no, wait, i can't see goggles. anything like ski oh it's my God. so bright yeah wow. where are we we're outside um i don't know greek honestly we're so bad um so we're really really high up in the mountains at the moment and it is actually really sunny we're in shorts yeah it's warm but geez. it's warm the but snow wasn't even snow. cold to pick up to be honest and the lake here the lakes are all iced over yeah. it's quite an incredible view it's insane man Where the river's melting and it's flowing down from the mountain, it's literally melting. Big patch down here, it looks insane. We told you, the drive just gets better and better. Route 63 took us from Vestland to the region of Moor og Romsdal and straight through Breedallen Valley. This drive cannot be missed and there's more to it, which we'll show you later when we come back this way. Islands of Scotland and like every turn you take you're just blown away this, this is that of Norway it is just mind-blowing really you just didn't think these things could exist in the world and they do right here June and there's still snow everywhere so you can only imagine how thick the snow is during peak season um, and on the sides of the roads the barriers there's loads of little red poles coming out and I can imagine it's because of how thick the snow is so they can see the edges of the roads during peak which means it gets at least like four feet deep by the looks of the height of those poles as we drove from Brixdale Breen to Geiranga, we made a few pit stops at the viewpoints en route, and yes, we will be driving that road later today. But first, time to explore Geiranga and dig into one pizza between the two of us. We then thought we'd treat ourselves to a celebratory sun is outsider, but then learnt Norway doesn't sell alcohol after 6pm or on Sundays, disappointed much. We are now at Ornisvingen. Utikspunkt <laughs> viewpoint. viewpoint. <laughs> yeah. We're going to try and get a view of the Seven Sisters, which is down in the fjord I, down there. Yeah, Maybe. but first of all, I want to show you this mini waterfall right next to us because there's a rainbow in it and it's just really cute. Can you see the mini rainbow? Anyway, that's enough of that. We'll go to the main viewpoint now. Here's the viewpoint. 
The fjord is looking so blue today. And that over there is the famous Seven Sisters waterfall. This viewpoint is very much just a viewpoint with incredible views, but that is the whole point in it. The drive up here was insane. It is a very steep hair bending, hair bending? Hairpin roads, hairpin roads. So it isn't for the faint hearted, but if you do come up here, it is worth it. And our time in Gear Ranger, it is gonna be short and sweet. We do just wanna see all of the main points and then get out of here. Um, I don't actually know where we're heading next. We still need to decide that, don't we? I know exactly where we're going. You we're do? gonna go find a lake and enjoy the sun and get wet. Yeah, I want a wild swim, definitely. This. This is what we couldn't wait to show you. The cracked ice is just so photogenic, and I'm sure it goes without saying, but isn't Norway's landscapes unworldly? On our road trips, we sometimes find that our favorite bit is when driving the scenic routes. Anyway, make sure to add both of these routes to your itinerary. You will not regret. Oh my God, our first move. Yes. Ah! Yes, we've seen a moose. It didn't have big, big horns, but oh my God, it looked amazing. It looked young, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, I think I actually scared you getting your attention to see the moose. Yeah, you did. I had no idea what was going on. That's it, guys. We've completed Norway. Yeah. We've seen a fjord. We've seen That's a it. moose. What else have we done? done seen hundreds of waterfalls and a glacier. We can go. Right guys, we're gonna wrap up the vlog here. Honestly, you don't know how much it meant to us to have that one day of sun. Absolutely. So However, we're just not sure if it's enough to keep us here, mm -hmm. so we've got a few tough decisions to make, haven't we? Yes, we do. So if you enjoyed the vlog, guys, you know what to do. Give us a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn on those notifications, and we'll catch you next week. Ciao. Ciao.